and good morning people welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 new threat we are in Wutai while letting a diamond weapon just stew for a bit on the world map he's not going anywhere we're chasing him well we were chasing Yuffie we're now chasing Don Corneo uh, because he's taken Yuffie and Yuffie's got our materia and such and such and so forth and well we want everything back. Cloud Eris and Tifa at the moment. And I do have some ranks to give out. Eris and Sid. So that's the first thing we're going to do. I'm already, you know, I'm pretty sure I already know what I'm getting for these. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're wanting dexterity. Yeah. So we're going Flower Girl for you. And Sid will be going uh, Dragoon. I need a little bit more dexterity on him. Uh, not a whole lot more. But since it gives strength anyway, and that's what he's sort of using, I'm more than happy that he has it. This might put him over two hundred, uh, over a hundred. Uh, yeah, puts him over a hundred dexterity now, which is sort of where I want him. So the rest is going to be strength, luck and maybe a few defensive things. We'll see what I can give him later. But that's everything sorted for the time being. Let's go to the Death Show statue mountain thing. Quick note, uh, Tifa is going to murder everything up here. We saw a few, uh, a little bit of what she can do at the end of the last part against the soldiers um, yeah that's going to be very much the same yeah she should be one shot in everything around here I don't even need to do anything with the others except maybe steal once in a while. Maybe need to heal, which is unlikely, but uh, yeah. With the Mazamune being a 100% critical rate um, and 100% hit rate, Tifa is not going to miss she is always going to critical she is always uh, she's going to be doing double damage because of berserk status all i need to do is keep her alive and that i can do fairly easily there's no point for me really to uh go and talk to these guys while they're on the hands it's just i'm doing it Should be one more fight. That I get between now and uh, catching up with Dawn Canadia. Dawn Canadia. And this wasn't the one I was expecting, but uh, back attack. This is how I've been wanting Tifa to be doing pretty much the entire game. And yeah. Anyways, I did pick up the Leviathan scales down in Janan, the underground reactor in Janan. Uh, Viper Hellbard is a weapon for 
Sid, which inflicts poison. Interesting. I'm sure we'll get to see it in a little bit. Let's have Rude go away and, well, use these scales. First one doesn't do anything except open the path. Second time opens up this. The magic shuriken. Um, weapon for new feet, obviously. Um, magic plus 25. Didn't I pick one of the half? I got one of these already for her. I'm pretty sure I do. So we'll see that later. Uh, this next part, though, um, might look a bit odd. Um, Yuffie, I thought you were captured by Don Cornier. Yeah, I can't actually pick this up because I need Yuffie in the party. Uh, or in the area, um, area. Since Yuffie's actually been captured by Don Corneo, this isn't actually meant to happen yet. But they've kept that there. Might be a bit of a bug that the uh, developers need to look into. Anyways, let's go and talk to Don. And his companion will be apparently Yuffie. Um, yeah, we can say everything we want about Don, and it's usually true. However, let's deal with this now. Won't survive this one so easily. Um, unfortunately for you, Don Cornio, Tifa is a beast right now. This is the Alpha Raps, so he doesn't actually have anything, I don't believe, but 3,500 damage. Uh, yeah. And I'm just going to buff it up a little bit more, so... Yeah, 17,000 sounds like a lot. It isn't. Two more hits from Tifa and we are done. I pretty much didn't even have to do anything. The haste just made it that much quicker. So 13,000 experience for free, basically. Dragon Fang. Okay, that's a bit interesting. I got a different item last time. But I suppose there is a bit of Uh, difference in uh, things you can steal and things you can pick up. I believe there's a choice of two. Two or three now. So there's always the possibility that you don't get the same thing each fight. Uh, each time you fight it, which gives the replayability a little bit additional to the game. Yeah. 
Why would he please for his life? Because he's clueless. Unfortunately, for the dawn, we have a bit of a backup situation happening just about now. This will be over quick. Goodbye, Don. We should not see you again. Well, you found us. What's next for you? And they're on vacation still, so we are fine. No fight with them today. got our material back, that's really all that matters. Of course we're keeping Yuffie with us, so it could happen again, but not in this playthrough. Pretty sure that used to be the MP mo absorb materia, but I'm not certain. Uh, I actually need you for on the party. And I need to sort that materia out. Oh no, you've got a spiral shuriken, so what's the magic one like? Comparison. A little bit worse in attack, gives you more magic though. Hmm, I think I'll keep the spiral shuriken on, on her for the moment. do need to sort out the uh, thing, but uh, we have a few things we can still do in Wutai. The Pagoda is one, definitely, but I will not be doing that till we get to disc three. Um, mostly because I don't trust the mod. I might be able to do it, I'm not completely sure. I haven't even looked at it. But the fact that this, the 
reward for that used to be all creation, which was her level four limit break. I wouldn't be surprised if they change the fight to be much more demanding. What I'm here for this time is to go and get that Leviathan material. At least it was Leviathan before, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's still as well. Um, okay, I'm in a bit of trouble. Um, is that? Is that a copy of, uh, Yuffie? Nothing to steal from that. I feel I'm in a lot of danger here. The best thing I can do is try and enable Tifa to finish this fight. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, that mystery ninja hits fairly hard. I didn't save, did I? Okay, um... Still as well, in the cave. Uh, comes with a fight which I need to prepare for. So that looks like it's going to happen in disc 3 as well. And yes, I didn't save. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to get through this and be back in a moment. Okay then, we've back to what we were and I should really save again. Um, Let's actually make sure I do that now. Um, did put Barrett up above the uh, threshold for another rank, but I'm going to leave that for a moment until I get a second one. What I came back in for is to check the weapon store. Murasame, which is five normals, uh, five material slots in normal. Um, it's not really that impressive. To be honest, you could get uh, get access to this quite a bit earlier than. Uh, bef than where I am right now, so that is likely the reasoning. Yeah, we'll go with that reasoning, saying that the uh. You can get near here before 
having the high wind when you get first get the uh, plane of the tiny Bronco. So that is likely the reason. It doesn't really help for now though. Can I actually get up here now? Yes, I can. Ah, there's the MP absorb material. So we have HP absorb, which has no equip effect. Okay. Considering the MP turbo has magical effect and MP absorb is also no equip effect. Hmm. Interesting. I'm pretty certain those are switched though. You usually I'm, I'm not completely certain here, but I think you get the MP absorb when you've um, sort out, out the Yuffie quest and the HP absorb in that room. I think they've been switched. Is there anything else I need from here right now? Still as well will be disc free. The Pagoda will be disc free. I think I've got all the items I need, I can get. So all that really leaves is weapon. So I need to get ready for that. This might be the second death of the day, not uh, the uh, part. Okay, um, who do I want for doing this? go with Sid and Vincent yeah let's go with that So I need to set this up. I have no idea what I'm doing for this. This could be interesting. And Viper Hellbar does double and inflicts poison. Okay. That's not too bad, actually. Of course, I'd rather be using the uh, triple growth material if I'm going to use anything for AP at the moment. Yeah, give me a moment. Okay, I think I'm ready for this. I'm not entirely certain. So let's make a save just in case. But Cloud, Vincent, Sid. Um, Crystal Sword, Crystal Bangle and the Power Wrist, so Cloud can actually do some damage with his physical attacks. He has Restore Rule, Lightning, Fire, Morph, Steel, Guild Plus because money's always nice. Alexander Holy, uh, sorry, Alexander Summon, uh, Full Cure, Poison and a Barrier Rule. Vincent has Comet MP Turbo, so do a bit more damage with the Comet Materia. 
Restore rule, Bahamut Zero with MP Absorb. Sense enemy skill, manipulate, heal, revive, earth and magic counter. Sid, time added effect because that combination is working out very well so far in the game. Might as well keep it up for, until it stops. Titan Elemental, so currently got Earth Elemental attacks. I'm sort of playing a risk here. I'm sort of hoping that a uh, weapon is not does not uh, absorb or nullify Earth. Death Blow, added cut, preemptive, counter attack, ice elemental on the defense, and restore all. Yeah, um, yeah, Vincent has a peace ring, so he can't be confused with Berserk. And Sid nullifies fire as well as halves ice. So I'm sort of hoping that uh, things go right here. It is very unlikely that they have kept the weapon as it was before. The summons there are to see if the same mechanic still works uh, because you can't actually damage weapon, at least in the old game, until you, he opened up his chest for doing his big attack. And to do that you needed at least either two limit breaks, which I don't have available, or two summons. If that still is the case, which since it is a mechanic of the enemy might actually happen it's possible or uh, it, I had that option available just in case anyways weapon um, okay I do have Sid's thing but uh, to, let's be honest Sid's limp break is not really that helpful. And Pearl Weapon. Let's haste you. Barrier. And you can cure yourself. Okay, that's Pearl. So you do holy um, damage. And yeah, that still bugs out for some reason. Okay, so you still take damage from Earth. That's a good thing. And you're taking damage anyways. So they have removed the... prerequisite of having to uh, open up your shield um, steal nothing to steal okay let's regen and as soon on cloud Wow, you hit extremely hard. Um, I might need, um, Sadness in this fight.
Um, let's summon Bahamut Zero. Ah, that wasn't meant to happen. Okay, you're still alive, that is good. It might be just me, but Bahamut Zero looks slightly greener. They might have changed his colouring a little bit. Eight thousand three hundred and forty eight, yes please. Um Okay. I've done a Klim Hazard and a... oh wow, um, yeah I definitely wanted that to happen. Uh, and a summon, so he has opened his chest which means he will take more damage. Does open him up to uh, Revenge Stamp. I think I'm okay with that. I need to... Okay, what was that? Um, I'm not actually sure. Where's my softs? That's what I'm looking for. There they are. You are still alive somehow. Okay, I have two limit breaks available. That actually did practically nothing. At least it looked that way. Okay, that's two. So you should open your chest plate. Excellent. I can do some damage. You know? No, you probably won't take extra damage from uh, that. Ah, just attack normally. Oh, and there we go. Okay, so I survived. Um, that's pretty much all I can really say I did there. 300,000 experience, yes please. Um, 30,000 AP, 
double yes, please. Um, he hits hard, but he's fairly similar to what he did before. Uh, the magic is slightly different. It's got holy damage instead of uh, fire damage, which he had before. So you just need to be a bit more careful of that. If I'd known that coming in, I would have prepared myself against holy damage, which I can do very easily. I've got three elemental uh, materials. I've got plenty of holy uh, materia to go with that uh, elemental. So I could have protected myself if I'd known going in. But we got through it. Um, I would definitely say though, um, limit breaks come in with some. Uh, I mean, with lim summons at the very least, limit breaks when you get them. Open up his chest, get uh, get that uh, damage going in. It's not necessary, but it's definitely helpful. Just be careful of the revenge stomp. So lightning, fire. Steel was born, Restore was born, Ice, I've got two count uh, three counter attacks now, excellent, and an Imperial Guard, 300,000 in gil, wow, okay. got other things happening. <whistles> Hurry out of here. Because it's not safe. <laughs>
So one weapon, well, two weapons down if you want to count the one destroyed by the Junin cannon. That cannon's accounted for two weapons. We fought it, but it was the cannon that finished it off. Next up, we're heading to the North Cave. Not because we're going there yet. Uh, obviously, we're not quite ready for facing Sephiroth. We've got something else happening. Someone's taken direct control over the cannon. We need to find out who and people that know will know who it is. It's Hojo. And unfortunately, there's nothing that they can do. However, we happen to have a certain high wind. Reactors will uh, go beyond their limit to supply a pulse of energy to the gun. Had to disable safety measures to make it work. If they're allowed a second pulse, everything's going to go critical together and an explosion is the least it will be. So Hojo comes first. Unfortunately for us, Heidegger and Scarlet don't plan on letting us have our free way. Isn't going to stop us though.
So let's just make a stop off. Uh, here we'll do. And next time we'll be heading into Midgar. I will likely do a few changes to the team because I do plan on going with a different group in there. And uh, yeah, going to stop Hojo from wrecking havoc on Midgar. Until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.